The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Representing the Brothers of Destruction, from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE Champion, The Undertaker. Listen to this WWE Universe. They've been waiting all night to see their favorite superstar. So much thought goes into a superstar's entrance, as we're witnessing here tonight. And approaching the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. You know, as Gorilla Monsoon would say, I don't think this guy has any problems finding a date for Saturday night. Listen to this. This crowd absolutely loves him. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, 
That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. Yeah, and you could cut the tension with a knife. I mean, no one's giving an inch. Oh, this is a standoff. As we watch Finn Balor, let's get your take on him. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com. You'll find updates and blogs from all your favorite superstars. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Twitter. It's at Jerry Lawler and at Michael Cole. Right, Michael Cole? Yeah, it's original. You know, when people think of The Undertaker and pay-per-view, of course, they think of WrestleMania. But I also think of when he debuted at the 1990 Survivor Series as the mystery partner for the million-dollar man, Ted DiBiase's team. Man, did that send shockwaves through sports entertainment? And I wasn't even in WWE yet. And there's the dark power of The Undertaker. Camel Clutch locked in. Wrenching on the neck and lower back. King, your take on The Undertaker and pay-per-views is a great one that some fans may have forgotten. We don't get to where we are today without that historic debut at the 1990 Survivor Series. And that's right. And I understand when fans think of Undertaker and pay-per-views that they think of WrestleMania. But thinking back to his WWE debut at the 1990 Survivor Series, that was awesome. And you don't get to the legend today without that historic debut. Looking good so far, not much damage, if any, has been absorbed. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. Finn Balor is just so graceful in the ring, particularly his basement dropkick in the corner. The way that he floats through the air prior to impact, and it's a thing of beauty. And into the cover. Plenty of fight left. You're right. This guy's still near 100%. Boom! Yep, there's the reversal by Finn Balor. Finn Balor totally vulnerable at this point. Look out! He's focusing on the face now. I like the way you described Finn Balor earlier, King. Really? Graceful. It's yeah. so true, and it's amazing how he can be both graceful and impactful at the same time. His Pele kick comes to mind when thinking of moves that are both graceful and impactful. Well, for the Undertaker hits him with a choke slam, and when he delivers that one, you're as good as gone. Yeah, you're never the same after one of those. And a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. Not where you want to be with the dead man. Is this it? Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. And his heartless attack continues. Oh, man. This is getting tough to watch. Man, you talk about a pick-your-poison scenario. The dead man could put you away with his, well, with his awesome tombstone pile driver, the devastating choke slam, the monumental last ride. King King, how about the Hell's Gate submission? Yes, I mean, there aren't more ways one entity can put away an opponent. We've seen this before. Yeah, I thought we were stuck in a rerun there for a minute. Four. 
textbook maneuver there. Back between the ropes. Extra slow getting back to his base here. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. Jerry, you spoke before of the numerous ways the Undertaker can finish off an adversary. Right. I keep thinking about each of the moves he uses, and I gotta tell you, I shudder to think if he has a favorite and why. Well, I think everyone would agree, Michael. Those are details we're better off not knowing. But it's safe to say an opponent has to be aware of each one. In fact, it's a conversation that I know I'd rather not have with the dead man. Someone really should check on. I mean, a maneuver like that takes your career and it just flashes it before your very eyes. Yeah, that wouldn't be a very long flash for you, Cole, but this guy's in trouble. Five. Undertaker has him right where he wants him. Six. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. Seven. I don't agree with you, King. King, we've called our fair share of wars with the dead man. It seems it's safe to say that an opponent's strategy against him is to try and stay away from his physical strength and not allow him to control the pace of the contest. Well, that would help for starters, Michael. But history has certainly shown that's a lot easier said than done. Once the bell rings, a darkness comes over. The Undertaker slams him to the ground. The shoulders are down. A fever pitch is here in the WWE Universe. You're right about that. The crowd is buzzing. They're ready for this thing to get underway. That can't be enough, can it? I don't think so. Watch it! Undertaker preparing the grave. He's just getting dissected. And there are the ropes. Well, back to old reliable. Who's old reliable? Uh, that was my first wife. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie, he's wild in there. I think it's gut check time now. Uh-oh. His head is taking an unbelievable amount of punishment here. This guy's just too strong. Oh, great move. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Attacking from the top. Uh-oh, big move coming. Oh, that might have broken. Wow, he was quick as a corpse on that one. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. A sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. Finn Balor scores with a tremendous move. He got him! I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. What? 
Does he have his eyes open? Quick thinking to avoid that. Ow! Ooh. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Clearly on a mission here. Oh, man. I thought he might have been knocked out right there. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. This could be it. Taker setting it up. Every muscle in that body is battered now. Can he score the pin? One, two, three. What a win! Man, he's got to feel great. Well, I don't know how you can pick out highlights from that match. The whole match was highlights. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. I can't believe what we saw in that match. Oh, what a spectacular match. Here's your winner, representing the Brothers of Destruction, The Undertaker. Put a check in the win column for Undertaker. You know, I don't recall ever actually being pinned, but you would have to think it's pretty humiliating. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.